stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. Status structural integrity down twenty five percent. Power levels down. <sighs> Shit. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him. 
I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all of the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Oh. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here. And I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Damn it, my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell?
here before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the Vale without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. You out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. to find bonus. Serves you right, dissident. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Monkey, Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power, regulator. But... I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant, reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But, like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, 
former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. 